molecular orbital theory it is also called as mot this theory was developed by hansen mulliken it states that a molecular orbital a molecular orbital is formed by the linear combination of atomic orbital so molecular orbital how is it formed it is formed by the linear combination of linear combination of atomic orbitals so whenever our atomic orbitals are combining it is giving us a molecular orbital or mo so atomic these atomic orbitals they are you know giving us two types of molecular orbitals two types of molecular orbitals one is bonding molecular orbital and the other one is anti bonding molecular orbital so when is bonding formed whenever there is an additive combination or whenever atomic orbitals are combining by an addition process they are giving us bonding molecular orbital and whenever atomic orbitals combine by a subtractive combination so uh, by subtractive combination you are getting anti bonding molecular orbital bonding molecular orbitals or else called as bmos they have lower energy whereas anti bonding molecular orbitals they have higher energy girls our atom is unicentric it is the cent it has only one center whereas molecule is polycentric it has many centers so if all the electrons of you know atoms a and b are considered to move along the entire molecule under the influence of all the nuclei all the electrons they are redistributed in the molecular orbitals as per Pauli's exclusion principle of Bohr's principle and Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity so in the molecular orbitals also <coughs> sorry the electron distribution follows Pauli's exclusion principle of Bohr's principle and hund's rule of maximum multiplicity and girls there are certain conditions you know uh, for the combination of these atomic orbitals so now we will we will start up with the new concept that is lcao that is linear combination of linear combination of atomic orbitals linear combination of atomic orbitals so for the combination of atomic orbitals they follow few rules certain conditions so let us see what are they so atomic orbitals are used to form molecular orbitals you know they should have the you know comparable energy suppose if a and b are combining they are having atomic orbitals these are atoms and they have atomic orbitals so this atomic orbitals of a and atomic orbitals of b they should have comparable energy it means similar energy and and thus in the uh, you know if if you are if there is a formation of a diatomic molecule like a2 you know that means a plus a combining for giving a2 so 
one s orbital of one atom will combine with only one s orbital of other atom a one s will not combine with two s because of the energy gap there is a large difference in their energy so one s can com will combine easily with one s one s cannot combine with two s because of the large energy gap suppose if you have two atoms a and a combining and giving us home atomic molecule a2 1s of a will combine with 1s of another a but 1s of 1a will not combine with you know it will not combine with the 2s why because of the energy gap between them and these atomic orbitals they combine only if there is a overlap to a larger extent so large extent overlapping is preferred and also the atomic orbitals having the same symmetry about the molecular axis they will mix with each other so the atomic orbitals having the same symmetry about the molecular axis they will mix with each other easily so now let us see the combinations of different overlaps first let us see the overlap of ss orbitals overlap of ss orbitals so what is it giving you know is it you know additive first let us see the additive combination electron so 1s of a and 1s of b the combining that is additive overlap is taking over here and it is giving us a bmo bonding molecular orbital bonding molecular orbital so for example there is formation of no node node formation is not seen in this additive overlap now so one is of atom a and one is of atom b they are combining by additive combination and it is giving us bonding molecular orbital which is having a lower energy now let us see the subtractive combination so what happens over here there is formation of a node there is formation of node node is a place where the probability of finding an electron is zero node is a region where the probability of finding an electron is zero for example this subtractive combination will yield as anti bonding molecular orbital anti bonding molecular orbital and it will possess higher energy now let us see the overlapping of or combination of p orbitals we have seen s orbitals they were in spherical shape now we will see the combination of this p orbitals which are in dumbbell shape 